In this video, I'll be showing how to copy the Linux distribution Raspbian to an SD card which you can then use in a Raspberry Pi. So I'll be showing you a mixture of the graphical and terminal method in Ubuntu 12.04, but it's applicable to many of the other Linux distributions as well. So to start with, if you grabbed a copy of Raspbian, the Wheezy from the Raspberry Pi download page, Tolerance probably preferred, you save them a bit of bandwidth that way. And for me, it came down pretty quick. And you notice we've got the SHA1 sum, the login, which is pi and password raspberry. So let's go off to my download folder where I've downloaded this to. Just open it in terminal. Since they've given us the SHA1 sum, you could go and double check that. I'll type it in SHA1 sum and see what it comes up with. Literally, is as simple as that. And yep, that number matches pretty well. Let's minimize the terminal for a moment. Now I need to extract the image file out of it, so I just double click on that and then drag and drop it back into the download folder. It takes a little while because it is, as you can see, nearly two gig large, which incidentally is the size of the image that it'll make on an SD card. But don't worry, if you've got a larger SD card, you can expand it later on. That's not extracted. Now, if you've got your SD card and put it in the computer already, now you need to open up the a disk utility. Now you need to take note of where it's mounted. So for mine, it's slash dev slash SDF. You need to unmount the volume. Now I need to copy the image onto there. So going back to terminal. So the command is sudo space dd bs equals 4m, that's byte size, so 4m should be adequate if necessary. Now if equals the input file, then of, the output, equals slash dev slash, I mentioned mine is sdf. Press enter, pop in your admin password, I need to type in capital M I think it is, yes I made the mistake there. So it'll take a little while to copy that over. And Raspbian is based on Debian Wheezy, but the commands that you use reflect more like Ubuntu, so you don't have to go like sudo su to gain root privileges. You can just do sudo and then run the command. So it's a bit easier that way, because I don't think there is actually a root user. The Pi user has admin privileges. And it's been a pretty easy distribution to use. It comes with the LXD desktop, which you don't have to run. It's optional. And there's rasp config makes it quite easy to make a few of the changes to the system. So like expanding the image size of this from the 2 gig up to whatever size your SD card is. So for mine I used a 32 gig and that's pretty quick and easy to do that. If you can set up whether you want to boot into LXD at boot up time, you can change like keyboard, languages. So I would like to show you it here, but <laughs> I've not got an emulator capable of running. You know, you an ARM image. I've got to look into using QEMU, I think it is. And if I try videoing it in front of TV, it's probably not going to work out very well. So just talk about it here and it gives you a bit of an idea of it. Well, the image has finished copying over now, so that took what, just over five minutes to do that. So I suppose speed depends on the well, speed of your computer and speed of the SD card. And well, I've opened up the view in disk utility so you can see what's been written. So you get like a boot partition and then partition for the system and home folder. And as I mentioned, I've got that free space there. But the Pi config utility, which appears on, all, on the first boot up, will give you the option there to get rid of all that free space. So there you are, that's how to write a copy of Raspbian onto an SD card to use another Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching, see you later.